there are my four colors. Now, most people use a squeeze bottle because you're gonna just drizzle this back and forth. We all know my aversion to squeeze bottles. So I'm just going to, I'm using a paper cup that I can squeeze and just create a small pouring spout and hope that this works. I said, I, I, I just don't like squeeze bottles. So I'm trying it this way. So now I'm gonna pour each color. I decided to do black, gray, white. I know I was gonna do the reverse. Eh, yeah, I'm still going with it. So I'm going to pour some in. And I think I pour too much pink on the bottom to start. This is why you use a squeeze bottle so you can control how much soap is coming out of the squeeze bottle because you only want a little bit and yeah, it'll get easier. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? So here comes the fun part. I have to do this peacock pattern swirl. So I'm taking a relatively thicker skewer and I'm gonna go all the way down and I'm going to do that S pattern. So I'm counting five peaks to help me make sure I keep it the same wipe off your skewer each time so I started here I'm going to go back in where I started and do the reverse one two three four and five so I'm just gonna do that whole pattern now to cut the modified peacock swirl. So this is the bottom and you can see some swirls so I'm holding out some hope but you can also see that I didn't match them up very well. I also should have done them shallower like these are really deep S's. I should have done them shallower so I could have a whole bunch more like I think well I don't know what the results are going to be but I don't think they're going to be all that impressive but we'll see. So for this I have to cut the loaf in 
basically the width of my bar. And then I'm going to flip that over, if you can see. I'll turn it sideways and I will cut batches like this through the width. Um, again, so much wasted soap with this method, but uh, this is why I never do these ways. It just kills me. I mean, the soap scraps will go out as samples and stuff, but still. Oh, actually, I should turn this around. So I've already marked where I need to cut the block up. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the end pieces. Oh my gosh. I think the pink was way too thick and the results I'm going to get are not going to be a nice swirl. That's my that's my reaction and after cutting that end I, I kind of believe it even more. This was my one shot to do this. Like, I leave for vacation in, basically I have today and tomorrow. So I had to get this made yesterday, cut today, so I can try and edit a video um, for tomorrow. And I just, that doesn't leave any time to try a second attempt and with my pink getting too thick I'm pretty sure I needed a second attempt so I'm just like huh? <laughs> it's a fun swirl it's not really a peacock swirl